Hi everybody, meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We're going to take a look at the afternoon model runs of the GFS and the NAM and the new GFS. Now it takes it pretty much straight northeast, it starts that hook back to the northwest, kind of sits it there, drifts it north, hooks it back to the west again, now that we're into Tuesday night, and just sort of sits it there off the coast. I think at this point, you know, we're getting such variability from the models from run to run. I think mainly because of the fact that um, we're seeing this uh, system really kind of evolve into this non-tropical or um, hybrid type storm uh, that I think is just going to make models uh, a lot more volatile than they normally would be. Here's the NAMS look, which is a little different. Uh, takes it actually straight east and turns it north, kind of loops it west. We're now into Sunday afternoon. You can see it brings a pretty big rain shield into New Jersey and even into the south shore of Long Island. And then it uh, hooks the low back to just east of the Delaware coast on Monday and then drops it southward. Uh, and after that, it just kind of spins away uh, to the north. So it just sits in there also, but a slightly different uh, view. But I want you to notice, by the way, you see how the precipitation is arced on the NAM? I'll just go back from the beginning. Uh, it gradually, the rain shield spreads out, so does the wind field, as this becomes a much more non-tropical looking in nature. This long arcing arm of rain is not a signature of a, trop a pure tropical storm. But then over time, what happens is as the low drifts southward, you start to get the uh, th rain and thunderstorms forming back closer to the center, so it takes a more tropical look again. This is all a fascinating meteorological process. Uh, at the end of the day, from a forecast standpoint, it doesn't change the problem we have, which is trying to figure out how this is all going to play out. The uh, GFS, same idea, but I think it maintains more of a tropical look to it uh, than the NAM does. You can see that more circular look of the, of the, of the weather system as it's offshore. Let's look at the uh, wind fields to get at a, 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 least a flavor for what we can expect uh, from the models uh, trying to dictate with respect to the winds, already a little breezy on Long Island and along the New Jersey shore. But based on the GFS track, it has gales touching the south shore of Long Island. The green would be the gales, uh, winds, sustained winds now, not gusts, uh, sustained winds of 34 miles an hour or more. Um, so that would be tropical storm force winds, south shore of Long Island, coastal New Jersey. So, you know, we've been saying that if you are uh, north and west of the Garden State Parkway, or especially if you're north and west of the Turnpike in New Jersey, you're not going to see very much in terms of wind. Same if you're, you know, north and west of New York City and the Connecticut coast, or even maybe the uh, uh, New Connecticut coast might be on the edge of just some gusts. Uh, but if we have sustained gale, gale force winds being indicated, we certainly would get some gusts to gale force out of this. So that's the GFS's uh, wind profile view. We'll look at the NAMs. And let me just back it up a little bit, and you can see how this one is, you know, not, not really all that impressive. I mean, it brings gales to, to New Jersey, doesn't quite bring them. It's, it brings 20 to 25 mile an hour sustained winds to the south shore of Long Island. I think the bottom line through all of this is we're just going to have to now watch how this thing tracks, how it behaves on the satellite uh, going forward. Uh, the volatility of the models and how they're handling this is a little bit too much, uh, swinging from run to run, jumping back and forth from, from place to place, and it makes for very, very frustrating forecasts. That's why I really haven't changed very much in terms of my view, because it's just been uh, just an exercise uh, in futility in trying to figure this all out. So uh, check out my latest weather posts on meteorologistjoechaffee.com and weatherlongisland.com. And, of course, there's storm chasing on snsstormchasers.com. Uh, so go visit that website, too. I'm part of their uh, team. I'm, one of, I'm their, uh, um, their meteorologist. So uh, check them out. And, again, just uh, the latest posts, more YouTube videos, my Facebook page, meteorologistjoechaffee.com. And you can download my weather app from either my Facebook page or from my website. So have a great afternoon, and we will have more video posts for you as this storm continues.